yeah 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 hello yeah yeah sure okay 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 bye 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 i think something similar happens in our life we are trying too many things together we are doing this thing this thing this thing and still we are seeing that why i am not able to achieve that in fact today my topic is exactly on that where i'm going to talk about attention is cold and the main intention of this particular topic is that uh, we are always facing a lot of challenge with respect to having focus on certain things by the time this you will land you will understand why the focus is important what are the challenges that we are facing in our life and what we can do so that we can have focus on what we think is most important let me start with a very interesting story the story is of a boy who was always amazed to see the sunlight he was always thinking that how the sun can give so much of energy everywhere and still we are not getting burned so one day he decided to talk to his teacher that why it is so that when there is so much of energy why we still don't feel like the burning everywhere and why just feel comfortable the teacher smiled and uh, he had a magnifying glass so he gave that magnifying glass to that boy and said that okay now put that magnifying glass on some of the leaves and the paper which are on the floor and just see what happens now when that boy tried to put that magnifying glass on that uh, paper and the leaves nothing happened now the teacher said that now put an angle in such a way that whatever light that is coming it is not scattered but it is coming to a point on the leaves and the paper now when he did that immediately the fire started on the leaves and the paper now looking at that the boy was astonished that how it can be possible that so far everything was still there but there was no fire but as soon as i pointed the light it started burning why it happened so the teacher helped him to tell that you know when the light is there everywhere it is all scattered so it is not focused but when we put it at a place then it gives the result something similar happens in our life too wherein we are so much scattered we have made us thin so much that we are trying to do so many things and while doing so when we are thinking that why i am not getting the result we always question ourselves that why it is happening les brown has said a very interesting thing he said where your focus goes your energy flows focus on what you want where you are going and what you are actively creating so if we look into our life in day to day life what is happening that there are a lot of distractions sometimes email is coming we are into social media we are talking to someone someone is coming someone is going and when we don't get the result then we feel depressed we feel demotivated so at that time the most important thing is our focus our intention that where we are putting our attention that's why we call it attention is gold say for example maybe a child maybe a student who is preparing for the competitive exam now while studying if a child is focusing on so many different things like i said about social media even though it is important and talking to the friend watching tv maybe there could be a possibility that child may be able to do some studies but to qualify a good competitive exam it's a bit challenge but in case a student has to do that and why only student anyone including me if i am doing something and i want to achieve the result the first and the foremost thing is that i need to focus on that particular thing which i think is the most important and when i start doing that there is a high possibility that i can achieve that target well tom robbins has said a very very interesting thing he said that your focus goes energy flows and if you don't take the time to focus on what matters then you are living a life of someone else design so what does it mean it means that when we say attention is gold so it means that we need to give importance to the attention in whatever we are doing it can be a small thing it can be a big thing as simple as that when we are watching say instagram or status on whatsapp if we can be so much glued to that that we don't understand that how much time has gone maybe 30 minutes 1 hour then if we can give that much of focus there how we can give the same focus on other thing which are important in life now as i'm talking a lot with respect to the social media that does not means that i'm criticizing that the intention is that how we can balance between our routine life what is relevant for our day to day life and then about the social media if you can strike a good balance then yes it is good the only problem comes when our attention goes to certain things which are not important in our life there's a very interesting book by brian tracy eat the frog now that book talks about that the most important thing that you need to focus in the beginning of the day. 
day and do that first and then think about anything else and this frog phrase has come from mark twain wherein he was saying that if in early in the morning if you are eating a live frog there cannot be any bad more thing that can happen to you so the intention here is that if you can focus on the most important thing and if you can work on that the other things become very easy even though it's true that with so much of distractions everywhere our mind can always distract but then the choice lies with us that whether we want to distract us or whether we want to focus on what we think is most important there's a very very interesting thing which has been said by albert einstein he said that everything is energy and that's all there is it to it match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality it can be no other way this is not philosophy this is physics so my dear friends what is most important the most important thing is attention in whatever we are doing so for example i am making this video so my attention should be 100% here if i am 100% here there is a high possibility that whatever i want to achieve i can achieve that so what can we do about it there are two key things that we can focus on the first thing is mindfulness and the second thing is how we can prioritize how we can set the goals now when we talk about mindfulness now it's a very common word which is being used these days and now i think some people start feeling that it is an overused word but then still when we talk about mindfulness the most important aspect here is that whatever you are doing whether your focus is there or not if you are there then there is a high possibility that whatever target that you have set whatever you want to achieve you can do that and the second important thing is with respect to goal setting and prioritizing it many time it happens with me to that uh, i start my day i know there are so many things to do and i do all those things but still in the evening i don't feel that confidence that i did that because i try to do so many things but not as per the priority not as per the goal and may not be the most important thing so that's why the goal setting is very important that what are the two three four important thing that you want to do and once we do that there is a high possibility that by the time it is evening we will be achieve almost all if not everyone and still we can feel confident about that well there is a very very interesting quote which has been said in this respect that the secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new my dear friend if i talk about myself my attention goes everywhere especially when i am doing some work making the blog writing the videos and doing all the stuff but then when i stop all my distraction at that time i see that the result starts coming so quickly i am challenging myself and trying different things what you are doing i am looking for your feedback thank you